Hello and welcome to Maker's Technical Support Videos, where today we will be discussing the Power Factor Form 93500 nameplate details. Okay, the first step is to open up the appropriate PowerDB software. In this case, PowerDB Lite version 11.2.9. Once the software is open, you can see the selection of instruments in which we will choose the Delta 4000 Power Factor test set using the Power Factor 2 Winding Transformers 93500 test form. Once the form is open, you have your header information up top followed by your nameplate information. Many of the fields in the nameplate information are filled out manually. You can see here on the left you have the transformer nameplate information where you can fill in the manufacturer, serial number, year, class. When you get to fields such as coolant and tank type and winding materials, you actually have drop down menus of pre selected options. You just choose any one of these, so for instance, silicone. And if you have a free breathing transformer as well and maybe you have aluminum windings all of these can be chosen with the pre-selected menus also some of these such as weight and oil volume have different units that you can change if you don't want to use pounds maybe use kilograms and instead of gallons you could use liters kilograms many other units that you have there to choose from another important field is oil temperature Oil temperature is very important because that changes the temperature correction factor. So it is very important to note the temperature of the oil when testing. Here on the left you have your vector diagram. So it is currently set in a DYN1, so delta on your primary with a Y and a neutral on your secondary. That can be changed just by clicking on the diagram itself. So if we wanted to change the primary to maybe just a Y with a neutral, and now our secondary to become a delta. And you can see the different selection of deltas as well. You just choose these to match your nameplate, and gives it to you visually as well as the diagram number if you have that. Below that, you have the nameplate information for the voltage. So Let's assume we had a 7,620 volt primary to a 480 secondary. And it is important to note, again, the units. It is in kV. You can set it to voltage. Just be aware of what it is. Um, our line of ground was automatically calculated. And once we put in the power in kVA, which also can be changed to MVA, it will calculate the current for us as well. See how they auto populate. And we have the option to change our tap changers. So, for instance, it's set as a DETC with five taps on the primary. And maybe on the secondary, we have a OLTC. And these can be changed to whatever is appropriate. On the right here, we have our bushing nameplate information where you can input the serial number, manufacturer, which is another drop down menu. Just go scroll through to find the appropriate manufacturer. Then the name class and name and class, which also is a drop-down menu, in which you can choose the appropriate. Then you have the spots to fill in the voltage, amp, and the year of the nameplate. And if you are not using your bushing nameplate, you can hide the information like that to where it doesn't show up on your report. A, another neat feature is the recalculation of test voltages. You can see that the voltages have already been calculated based on the nameplate information that we input. But if, for instance, if we were to change this to a 13.8 kV primary, we could recalculate our test voltages, say yes. And now our test voltages are recalculated for us to test power factor.
Thanks for watching this installment of Megger's technical support videos, and tune in to some of our other videos for more information.